Welcome to Mathapillar. This is an addictive game that will help you practice your counting skills. You see, I have a Mathapillar right now where there's a 6 in his segment right here. That means I want to 7 to fall here, the 8 to fall here, the 9 to fall here, the 10 to fall here, a 5 here, a 4 here, a 3 here, a 2 here, and a 1 here. I want to put the numbers 1 through 10 in their correct order, but it's very challenging. Watch. Every round gets harder. The numbers start falling faster. In the last two rounds, you have to count by fives. Click start. So now I know where my six is. So the next one, a five is the first one to fall. So I want to put that right next to the six. Position your guy perfectly. Perfect. Now I don't want numbers to fall in the wrong place. Or else I can't go on to the next round. So I have to be very careful. Okay, so I see a three. I want my three right there. Ten. I know that's the last one. Uh, four. I want my four to fall right between the three and the five. Now, look, the ten is going to fall, but since I already have a ten in that segment, it's going to bounce off. You have to be very careful. This game is very fast-paced. It can be very challenging. Sometimes you have to wait a while for your right numbers to fall. So I have all these, so I'm just going to let them fall. But there's an 8. I need this 8. So I know that goes right next to the 9. So right now I need a 1, a 2, and a 7, all the while making sure I don't have the wrong number fall in the wrong segment. So the 1 goes there. Doing pretty well. There's the 2. I'm just going to need the 7 to make sure I can position the math of pillar so the 2 falls right where it's supposed to. Now I just have the 7, and guess what? There it is. I want to make sure I have completed that level. If at any time the wrong number falls in the wrong segment, you can just click Refresh Level and you'll start again from the level you're on. Let's try one more. So now I have to do 11 through 20. So I see where my 15 is. So the first number falls is 15. I'm just going to let that go. So 18 should go 3 after, right about there. Perfect. 16. 19. You'll get the hang of this once you play it a couple times, too. So 12 is going to go right there. 17. Oh, I see what happens. I got the 17 in the wrong segment. But look, I click Refresh Level, and I start from that same level. So now I see where my 19 is. That's a reference. That should show me relatively where to put the other numbers. So 14. That's far enough away from 19 where I really don't want to hazard a guess there. So 13. I know where 13 is supposed to go. Oh, perfect. Almost missed it. Not quite. I don't want to get out of the way. So 15. No, I got it in the wrong one again. So I would just refresh the level again and keep playing. There are four total levels. That's how you play Math the Pillar.